Hi everybody, Dr. P here. I uh, just wanted to take a few minutes to tell you about a new product um, that's come out of some research that I've been doing in the area of frankincense production. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me to elaborate on this product after I did a, uh, an online class, video class, on EO chemistry, um, where people uh, ask questions on a live feed. And uh, one of the questions was about uh, some things that I was excited over uh, in the last year uh, that has been developed in our lab. And one of those um, developments is in the area of frankincense. So um, I developed this process for making frankincense oil that um, it's, a, it's a distillation in combination with some other technology um, that I can't really talk about because it's licensed by another large company. But this process uh, produces 30% uh, yield out of a resin, let's say it's Boswellia carteria, which is mainly what we've been experimenting with, um, which would normally only yield about a 6% oil yield by steam distillation. But with this new process, which we call the Pappas process, um, we are able to produce 30% um, oil out of the resin that we would normally get 6% from. And the product is actually, I can't, it's not sold as is because it's not really like a normal essential oil. It's actually better than a normal essential oil. It's thicker, heavier, um, it's got more of the heavy components in it, but the odor is amazing. Here's a sample of it here, it's a beautiful color. Um, and just a richer, deeper uh, frankincense. And another product that we get out of this process is a really nice boswellic acid powder. Um, and this powder, which looks like this, I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but um, it's a really nice consistency. And you know, boswellic acid right now is a very hot topic because of the uh, anti-cancer studies and things like that. It's got some really nice skin properties as well. Um, but anyway, what you can do with this boswellic acid is add it to like a neutral uh, lotion base. This is just some a neutral uh, odorless lotion. And you just put the, I usually put about 10, 15%, maybe 20% into your, uh, into your lotion and just uh, stir it up and it'll dissolve really nicely. Um, it's best really to do it with like a, a cake mixer or something like that. It works really nicely to do it. But even if you don't do that and you just do it manually, uh, it will dissolve pretty nicely, pretty quickly. Uh, if you still have some chunks in there after, after stirring it for a couple minutes, uh, you just let it sit overnight and they'll basically just turn the liquid inside there and you just stir it up and it's and it's really nice um, you just get a nice like really tan colored uh, lotion and what's really great about this lotion is that it's got the, the aroma of, of a really nice frankincense left in it you don't have to add any fragrance to it so you've got a natural fragrance if you had to um, fragrance a product like this with natural frankincense oil obviously that would drive the cost way up in your in your product but this takes care of the fragrance in a natural way and gives you the best boswellic acid out there on the market this is the only boswellic acid ex carteri because most other boswellic acid almost every actually every other boswellic acid on the market is coming from China from boswellia serrata which is the cheap Indian frankincense variety. Uh, so this is the only uh, boswellic acid ex carteri on the market. And um, it is, uh, it's just a, you know, it's just a beautiful product. You can also get it in a form that's wet, still wet before we dry it out. And this, in my opinion, if you want it for, if you want a stronger odor in your product, is the way to go because this is going to give you even more bang for your buck 
in the final product in terms of the odor. So um, either we can we can do either. It just takes you know some extra process to dry it and get it into the nice powdery form. But the crude form, which has more of the actually the oil in it, is going to also be made available. Uh, right now, this is just a test market, um, so I'm going to make it available probably on my EOU uh, website, and um, we'll probably sell it for people to try in these little hundred mil hundred milliliter containers, uh, you know, for I don't know, ten bucks, whatever. Um, and then, you know, hopefully somebody will want to uh, pick it up and, you know, distribute it in, and buy in large quantities and uh, resell it because that's not what I want to do. But for now, uh, just to get it out there, um, going to see how, you know, to see how much interest there is in it. Uh, I've approached some large companies with it and haven't received much interest yet, so I figured, hey, uh, I've got a lot of people who are making their own products at home and might find that this is a really great product. I've used it myself um, for some, uh, I had a little spot on my lip right here that a doctor told me was basically precancerous and I made up a lotion of, of a vitamin E, a neutral, uh, a vitamin E odorless uh, vitamin E lotion, incorporated in that and rubbed it over there and within a week the spot was gone. So I'm sold on this and I think once you try it, you will be too. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, it should be on the uh, EOU uh, website soon, and that's at essentialoils.org. And uh, hope to uh, get some feedback and see what you think. Talk to you soon. Thanks.